So the, the first step in setting up the cart is to grab the cart and grab all the, the equipment from room in, two. In endoscopy. In endoscopy. The unit. Okay. So they um, find, and this is how you're going to find. If the water is going to be set up for you and the irrigation tool. This is exactly how the, the, the car is going to be. It has a sink, sink spot, spot where you're going to put the daily scope at the end and a solution of detergent with sponge that you need to swipe to clean the, the outside and suction the soap to clean the inside of the scope so there is no uh, right, so at the end of the breeze. procedure, you'll suction it through to clean That's whatever right. debris is in there so the channel doesn't get clogged. You know, with yeah. So you're yeah. going to find this in there. When you pick up the car, you're also going to get the scope and um, an endoscope, which are shorter than the colonoscope you want. You're going to open the sink. It brings goes and the soldier. Mm -hmm. This you can put it aside because at the end is that right. you're going to be using that. Then we take the scope and we're going to, you can turn it on mm -hmm. from this. This is the, the button that will turn everything. Okay. So this, this is the, the part of the computer that will give you the irrigation, that will give you the water it will go through the through the scalp and the doctor will be able to clean inside. And that will you already see. be set up. Everything will be set. You see this? It's not supposed to be like that. So it's telling you to press any button. And that and now you're going to, to see that it comes to 20 mm -hmm. for score. That's the regular, the basic for doing snares. Um at one point you may use the quad. It's a different device. We're going to change the settings, but I show you when, okay. when we go there how okay. to use it. So you're going just to take the stop. And then uh, this is how it goes. You see that it has two buttons. This exactly that's how they go. And you can press it in there. And then you're going just to connect. This is the suction. Mm -hmm. You can uh, connect it over there from from your suction at the, the bed side. Suction? Yes, okay. at the bed side. Over here, I have it in the other side. Yes, you have yes. it connected already. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so one side to the bed, the wall, and one side to yes. here. And this is the water to to clean inside. Mm -hmm. It's also the same concept. It has to see the two buttons, mm -hmm. the lawn and the shore. Right. So the bigger one goes in there, okay, like this, and then you turn right. it, okay. and it's, it's set. So okay. now you take, this is the irrigation um, line that okay, I will give you. It's, it's from there, and this okay. is where the doctor is going to pump to deliver the water inside the scope. Okay. Okay, so um, there are really two types of emergencies that we deal with um, when we have our emergencies here at the hospital. The two would be uh, foreign bodies or food impactions, uh, and the other, of course, are G GI bleeds. Uh, so I'm going to start with going over the equipment that we need to uh, remove foreign bodies or bones that people might swallow or whatever else, um, and we'll start off with the over tube. And um, this tube is really a device that allows the a uh, doctor to pass the scope, um, really serves two purposes, to pass the scope multiple times. So as they're passing the scope in and out, they don't have to keep traumatizing the patient's oropharynx as the scope mm -hmm. is going in and out. And also it protects the airway, because if you're pulling out something from the esophagus or from the stomach and you happen to drop it in the pharynx, it can technically fall into the airway. Now again, our patients are usually intubated, so that's not a huge issue. Um, but it does serve that purpose also. So this is the tube, and this is how it comes. Uh, basically, it's a um, really a tube within a tube. Let me see if I can open this up here. And this is kind of what it looks like. 
So basically, I think it actually comes like this in the package. So it's actually it two, yeah. two pieces, yeah. So basically, the way we use this is, um, you know, the patient is in the bed, the patient gets intubated. We know the patient has, you know, they tell us they swallowed a piece of steak, it's caught in the esophagus. So we want to um, put this overtube in so we can go in and through multiple passes take it out. So we, first we prepare the overtube, and the way we do this is we take the tube, we put the... Uh, this some gel first. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I think this one passes through by itself. This is the inner tube, and we just tighten it up like that. Um, and then we have to take some gel. So here's the scope. We'll put a little gel on there so we can... If you don't put the gel on, it's just very difficult to pass it through. Let's put a whole bunch on it. Now we take the tip of the scope. Okay. And basically, this goes through the little opening here. Should pass through pretty easily with the gel. So <clears throat> we bring this all the way to the back, and now the gastroenterologist, the scope, the endoscopist, then passes the scope, right? So you just take a look, just like you're doing a regular scope. Once it's in, now you want to position the over tube. So let's say, now if I can just give you the tip of the scope, like hold it there. And we're just pretending that that's the patient's mouth, right? Mm -hmm. So then we slide this down, right? And so you have to slide it basically in. Let's see, just let it slide into here, as if it's the down. Right? Now it's in, and now you take the scope out. Okay. Okay? So now, it's in the esophagus, it's coming out of the patient's mouth, basically. I'll go over this again when you... Um, okay, then, so now you're in place. You now take this thing out, which just slides out, like that. Put this on. Say what? And now... Really? <clears throat> now you've got an automatic opening, right? So now you basically, every time you want to go back in, you just put the scope right into this little opening here. And as you can see, you can actually see it on the screen, right, as it's going down the tube. <clears throat> and then you take it right to where the impaction is. On again. Okay. okay. So that's it. So then you now you uh, you can go in and out, right? You can use your tools, and we'll talk about the tools in a second. But once you, let's say we have some tool going through our channel here, we grab it, and then we can just literally take the whole scope out, right? And with, with our little, whatever we have at the tip here, a piece of steak, you know, whatever, <laughs> uh, put it off on the side, and then you just keep going in and out. Okay. So okay. So that's the over tube. So let's now we're going to go to the equipment that we use to take out the foreign body. Okay. So over tube is in. Um, now what we do is we have some tools that can grab the let's call it a steak impaction. Right. It's just basically there's a piece of steak caught in the esophagus. So which one is this? This is a grabber. A grabber. Okay. Yep, so this is, just to show you, you can let me get a close-up on it, that's a grabber. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's just like you want to open and close it. Yeah, this is how, you see, you only push it up and down. And now we want to use tools to put through the scope to grab whatever foreign body is there and try to pull it out. So, we again pass our scope through the over tube, right, so let's just say it's down there. Okay, and this is one of our grabbers. It's a grabber. And this is how you open it, right? So all the tools open like this. It's kind of like a... Push it in, push it in, push it out. Yeah, and you can see how the tool... When when we give it to the doctor, it's supposed to be, uh, you know, it's inside, in. it's in. And then once it goes, you can... Open it up, open and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so it's down. Doctor takes it, puts it in. And if we look, let's say, let me put it up here so we can see. Here's, the, here's what we're seeing. We're putting it through the channel, and now there it is, right? So now I might say, okay, open, and you can see the little teeth coming out, right? And that's why I put it and place it on the piece of meat or whatever I'm grabbing here. In this case, here's a little, okay, now close. See, and I kind of grabbed that little piece of paper. See, that's, you can grab whatever's in there. Now again, I can't pull this out through the channel, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the whole scope out right through uh, right through the over tube. And you take it out, then you can put it down in wherever you're going to put the debris, open the channel, or, you, or the, the grabber, I should say, drop it, and that's it, right? And I can, if let's say I want to keep using this tool, I can just keep going back and forth, right? I can pass it in and out and do it multiple times, okay? So that's, what do we call this? This is a grabber, right? This is a grasper. 
So we use the grasper or we can use the basket. You know, they say, I need a basket, right? Let's say it's kind of big and we want to grab something. This is what a basket looks like. It's basically a snare with a net. Mm -hmm. And so let's get a look at the tip here so you can see what it looks like. So here's the net. And you can see it looks like a snare, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a little loop. And again, let's say if I see how you can close it, just this the same is, device. Open. This is how we're going to give it to the doctor. Once it's inside and he had already placed it on top of the object that is inside. So we just bring it up. And yeah. once it's And you can see if, like, if this is a piece of food and you close it, why don't you close it? It's stuck. I can't, right? Now you got it. Mm -hmm. And then, so let's say we'll open it up again. Close. Okay, so again, if we're passing it. And again, everything, you know, you, again, you get the idea. It's all, everything's the same, right? There's no, nothing magical about this. Let's see, we're passing it, passing it. Until we see it coming through. The screen's a little dirty. Let me see if I can clean the screen here so you can see what we're doing. Okay, anyway, so there's the basket. And we might say open, okay. We open, we place the basket around whatever, whatever it is we're grabbing, close. Close it up, and the same thing. Then I take the scope right out, right? Put it off to the side. Open the basket. We can dump out. We sometimes have to pull it out if it's like a piece of meat or something. It's kind of disgusting sometimes. <laughs> but that's what we do. So that's the basket. You want oh, a snare, out. right? Which well, a snare looks just like it's, that. It's just the same. It's without the little basket. Right. But it's, it, it'll it's grab. It'll put a loop around whatever you're grabbing. You close it on it, and the loop just grabs it. Then you just take it out. So it looks just like the basket. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it. We've got grabbers. Uh, snares, baskets, um, the overtube, and that pretty much summarizes taking out foreign bodies. Very easy. Um, takes, sometimes it's painstaking and you've got to go multiple times until you whittle away at it until it comes out. But, you know, easy once you have the overtube in. Mm -hmm.